Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to clone a cursor and what does that actually means. Well, uh, let's say that I have this Ada table 1. He's already connected to some database and uses table 1. And if I link it to this data source, I get the content inside that Ada table 1. But I'm not going to use that uh, other table 1 as a primary uh, data set. I'm going to create a new data set. Uh, some in-memory data set such as client data set or a uh, file document table. Uh, let's choose client data set for uh, the purpose of demonstration and uh, let's load the data uh, from the other table one. Okay, and then uh, let's link this uh, data source to a client data set. And uh, as we can see, uh, we have linked this DB grid with client data set one, uh, its data source, and we got the same data as in Ada table one. Uh, what we want here is to be able to uh, edit uh, these data uh, that are inside DB grid. And um, I'll create a new form. Okay. And uh, here I will uh, double click on this uh, client data set and add all fields and uh, I will just drag and drop uh, no okay first I will um, include unit 1 in this uh, unit 2 okay uh, why, do I need, why do I need to do that because um, I'm uh, creating fields of a client data set that is located in informed 1 so uh, let's get back and uh, again choose all those fields and now uh, just uh, drop them here and now we have uh, a name uh, surname and age fields here and they all point to a uh, data source one on the form one okay and i'll add a, a button uh, button save here for example right and uh, what I want is when I uh, click edit here that uh, I'm able to open multiple ed edit windows, uh, not just one. So, for example, I want to edit at the same time, first record, fifth record, uh, eighth record, ninth record, and so on. So, uh, no matter how many records uh, uh, I open, I want to have different edit windows, uh, meaning that each of them edits uh, a separate record. So in order to do that, I'll uh, create this uh, edit uh, form. I'll just call it uh, F edit. Okay, I'll uh, create it dynamically. So um, F uh, type F edit pointer uh, F edit. Okay, is a new. Uh, df edit this and uh, what I need to do is to show uh, use the show method uh, why because I want to show multiple uh, uh, edits at the same time so that is my initial idea so I want to have multiple edit uh, uh, dialogues opened uh, at the same time and each of those dialogues to uh, edit different records that's why I cannot use uh, show model because uh, I would be able to open only one edit dialog and th that uh, now introduces a new problem because normally if we would use show model we could simply say delete uh, f edit at the end right but now that is not the case because uh, if we uh, call show uh, the form one code will uh, continue after the show and it will automatically delete the uh, window or the dialog that we just shown. So we cannot use delete here. Uh, instead, we are going to go into this uh, edit form and on its uh, on close event. And we are just going to say here uh, action equals closing action free. So that pretty much means uh, when closing this edit form, uh, it will free itself uh, from uh, memory, so it will deallocate itself. Uh, and we will have the same effect as uh, if we would call uh, delete here. I mean, in this case, uh, at least we will not uh, kill the window immediately, right? So uh, it will show the window and it will deallocate itself automatically uh, when uh, the form closes. That's the idea. 
Now let's uh, run this. Okay, uh, so he doesn't know what is uh, TF edit, so we need to include unit 2 here. Okay, now let's try. And now let's see, uh, let's put the cursor here on the first record. I click edit and I get the edit uh, here. Now let's uh, switch to the fourth record, uh, seventh record and so on and you see now what is the problem the problem is that all of these edit uh, uh, dialogues point to the same record and that is the record uh, uh, depending on the where the cursor is uh, on a client data set if i switch the cursor to say uh, record three then all of those uh, edit uh, forms are uh, trying to edit the record three so that is uh, exactly what I want to avoid here. What I want to have is that each of those uh, edit dialogues can edit its own uh, record. And that's why I need to use a clone cursor. And what is a clone cursor? Is It is a technique where uh, you have uh, cloned data sets that uh, pretty much they all share uh, the same uh, uh, central data set. And in this case, we have a central data set as a client data set one and we are going to create create a clone data sets and in this case if our central data set is a client data set then a clone data set will also be a client data set and i'll just call it a clone here okay and i'll say initially that clone uh, gets the data from a client data set it has its copy uh, once I have this clone, I will relink these fields so that uh, they are not uh, working with the uh, client data set on the first form. Uh, I want them to be uh, working with the clone data set. So I'll add an, a new data source that works with the clone. And uh, I'll just call this uh, the clone. Okay. And now I'll just click here data source is uh, data clone okay and when I click save I will say a uh, clone uh, post okay so uh, pretty much what will happen here is each time I uh, create a new edit uh, uh, window I will create a clone uh, but now I need to say that uh, that clone also uh, clones the cursor of this central data set. So in here, I will say after creating a window, then uh, access that clone, clone and uh, clone cursor. Uh, clone cursor from where? What is the source? The source is the client data set one. Okay. And uh, here there are two more uh, parameters, reset and keep settings, uh, which uh, uh, pretty much define do you want to reset the settings uh, and uh, indexes and so on. Uh, by default, we'll just say here false to everything. But if you want to know more about those two parameters, you can uh, press F1 under this clone cursor and uh, well, you get the help uh, and uh, it is very well documented uh, in regards uh, to these settings uh, what if you set one to true uh, or the second one to false uh, and so on and so on so you can check that out yourself but now what we have done is uh, we said uh, each time when you create a new edit window clone uh, cursor uh, uh, meaning share uh, uh, this data set with this clone okay and now I'll run the application okay now I'm uh, on the uh, first record I see the cursor here I click edit and as expected uh, this edit uh, now edits the first record but now I'll switch to a uh, fifth record and notice how uh, data didn't change uh, uh, in this case because uh, we are now working with a clone inside this uh, edit dialog so I'll just click here edit again and now I have a new edit window uh, this time working with this record and I can uh, edit another record and uh, now we got what we actually wanted and that is a multi 
multiple edit windows where each of them works with a different record and now I can change here name from 1 to 1x, 5x and 8x just for the demonstration when I click save uh, I saved the first record here I saved the fifth record here and I saved the eighth record here and uh, that's why you use a, a clone cursor uh, like i said it is used to share uh, data sets between uh, uh, clones and uh, it can be useful uh, such as in these situations where you want to have multiple uh, uh, when, when you want to have uh, an ability to uh, edit uh, data in multiple uh, dialogues right and i believe it can be useful in some other situations as well uh, well, that's it guys. Thank you. And as always, uh, feel free to comment and uh, see you soon.